Boy, am I ever excited to take you on this video tour of the new Renegade Verona bunk model. I think Renegade really did a fantastic job of building a coach that is affordable to most families, but yet still has all the quality and luxuries that you come to expect. We're going to start off with showing you the slide-a-bed sofa here, and uh, this sofa has three seat belts in it so you can take extra passengers with you. It also sets up very easy. It just slides out and unfolds into a full-length bed as you can see here in the photo. You've got kids on board, you can set it up and convert it back into a sofa and back and forth very easy. Now we're going to talk about the dinette. You can see here it's got lots of storage underneath with the slide out drawers. It's extremely comfortable to sit in. These seats are made by Mastercraft. Here we're going to show you how you convert the dinette into a sleeping berth. You slide the table down into the lock position and then put the extra seat cushions in it and here you have another sleeping berth. Here's a shot of everything put back together in its normal uh, living configuration. As you notice, there's tons of overhead storage inside of this coach. The Verona is all made out of solid maple, has all LED lighting, and as we've talked before, there's all kinds of different lighting elements inside this coach. Here we're going to kind of walk you through the lights so you can see the different shades of light that's available to you to kind of set the mood or create an ambiance inside the coach. Here we're showing you the floor lights. You can also see the heater vent there to the right. An extra 110 outlet right by the sofa. It's just perfect for plugging in a cell phone or a laptop, having a charging port there. Now we're gonna pan around into the kitchen area a little bit, and try to do our best to show you what it's all about. Here's a nice overhead storage bin over the, over the top of the refrigerator. This coach has a 18 cubic foot residential style refrigerator as you can see here in the photo. The doors lock when you're driving down the road. Here's an interior shot of the fridge. Also has an ice maker down in the freezer drawer. I'm gonna slide it out here so you can take a look inside. You can see on the top left hand, there's your ice tray. It's great, you can fill coolers out of that. Now we've slid it forward and there's a storage space underneath for extra frozen items. Now we're gonna pan around and show you a little bit more in the kitchen or dining area of this coach. As you can see, there's plenty of overhead storage bins. You know, one can never say they have enough storage, but I think there's plenty on this coach. You know, as with all Renegades, this has the full length slide out drawers with the soft close features. They've also added for 2016, a magnetic secondary latch inside to help keep the drawers from sliding open when you're going up and down the road. Notice all the covers are in on the countertop, which converts the stove and the sink to just one solid counter space. Here we're gonna show you the electrical panels. I've said it before on several videos, I think Renegade's done a great job of putting things where they're very easy to get to. If you ever burn a fuse out, there's an LED light that comes on to indicate that that fuse is bad. Here's a shot of the convection microwave oven. Now we're gonna pan down here and talk a little bit about the three burner gas stove. Pots and pans tend to heat more evenly on a gas stove than they do on the glass cooking top. Notice this is stainless steel with uh, enamel grates on it. You can see the backsplash here and the window treatments on this coach. And also, we're trying to give you a good close-up of the solid surface countertop on it. It is all polished, so it looks really, really nice. You can see the big deep sink. This coach also has the residential style faucet on it. Very easy to use, has the slide out function on it here so you can pull the nozzle out to wash pots and pans. 
Now we're going to move up and talk a little bit about the LED TV in this coach. This has a full sound system in it with speakers in the ceiling and a hideaway subwoofer. This mount does pivot and move. Here we're kind of moving the TV around to show you you can get some different viewing angles. So when you're cooking, you can still watch TV. Now as we move around into the overhead consoles, this is kind of the business end of things. And in the first box here is the all new LG home theater system and DVD player and Blu-ray. It's hard to point out, but behind this cabinet, Renegades ran air conditioning ducts, so all the stereo components will stay cool as you're using it. Now we're gonna move up into the front cabinet and talk about all the electronics, and these are things that you'd be using on a day-to-day -day basis inside the coach. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the thermostat. Now this coach has two zones, or two different temperature ranges, one for the bedroom and one for the main living area. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the main control panel. And on this control panel, you'll see all of the lights are lit up. And I'm gonna kinda of walk you through them all. So the first switch is the water pump that turns the water pump on and off. Once you turn the water pump on when you're camped, you can leave it on because once the pump builds pressure, it just sits there and idles and waits for you until you need it. The second light is the storage lights underneath in the storage compartments on the passenger side. Then there's holding tank heaters for the wastewater that'll heat it should you use this coach in the middle of the winter. You have a choice, you can either use uh, electric for the water heater or propane for the water heater. Down below you're going to see the slide out for the main living room and then there's the generator e-start button and in the event that the house batteries ever get too dead or too low to start the generator you can push that button and it'll connect the main truck batteries to the generator and you can start the generator off of the truck batteries. Of course on the left it shows you the propane status, electrical status, and your water tank status all there with LED lights. The next thing I'd like to talk about is you can see the generator start button up there, the Cummins owning quiet diesel. Numbers on the right where you see rapid and one, two, three, them are light fault indicators. So let's say you get two quick light flashes, that's gonna tell you if there's a low pressure, oil pressure. Um, there's also an hour meter there. And when you buy this coach, we're gonna provide you with our IWS Advantage package. And that includes exclusive customer only videos that we'll provide you on an iPad that'll show you how to use all of these features. We've tried to make it very easy for you. And of course, if you have cell coverage, you'll have all of our cell phones, so we'll talk you through just about anything. Next, I'm gonna show you the equalizer system. So it's very simple to level this coach. You just touch the auto level button and the jacks deploy. The important thing to note about a Renegade is the jacks go down hydraulically and they retract hydraulically. And that's very important if you're ever out on the side of the road and you deploy your jacks and they push through the dirt, you have power to pull the jacks back out of the ground. A lot of coaches out there sell hydraulic leveling jacks, but they're gravity up and they require a spring to pull them up. And some of you watching this video are probably shaking your head now because you've been in the situation where you can't get your jacks to come up. It's not very fun. So top end equalizer system on this coach. And again, we offer a advantage package to our exclusive customers that shows you how to run all of this. And then we get down to the Magnum inverter. It's really the brains of all the electronics. And in there, you can program the input voltage so you can't overload the coach. You can select whether you're on a 15 amp, 30 amp, or 50 amp service. Here you can program the generator to start based on temperature or time. You can program the generator to not run at certain times. It sounds very complicated, but I can assure you, we're gonna spend a lot of time with you when you pick up your coach. And again, we have the operations of this on our IWS Advantage package. So I really hope this helped clear up some of the things you might wonder about what goes on up in the switch compartment of this coach. Now we're gonna move up and uh, talk a little bit about the storage compartment. This bin is located just above the driver's seat on the left-hand side of the coach, and it's just a spot, can store DVDs, information for the coach, anything that the driver might wanna have easy access to. Now we're gonna move around inside the cab, and I'm gonna do my best to kinda of walk you through some of the features and options that we, you would see inside of the cab. And, one of the notables is that in an M2 chassis is that the passenger can see the navigation and help the driver with the 
you know, running controls and stuff, it's within reach of the passenger and the driver. The first two switches we're going to talk about are pretty obvious. It's the driver and passenger side window controls. The next switch here is the mirror heater and in the event you're in an icy condition outside or foggy you can turn the switch on and both the driver and passenger side mirrors will heat up. The next switch we're going to talk about is the door lock switch and it's located just to the right of the mirror heater. The next switch we're going to talk about is the air parking brake switch. And this is where I really want to take a moment and explain some of the differences that you need to be aware of when you're choosing a coach. Some manufacturers sell motorhomes with hydraulic disc brakes, but they say they have an air-assisted parking brake. And typically what that means is when you pull the yellow button on their product, either air or air over hydraulics will apply a parking brake to the driveline. And that would be the only source of parking brake, is that brake that clamps the driveline. On the Verona and all of the Freightliners that are sold by Renegade, we offer a true air parking brake. And when you pull this yellow button, it's going to apply brakes to both of the rear dual wheels of this coach. The next switch we're going to talk about is the exhaust brake on this coach. All of the Veronas come standard with a Cummins exhaust brake. And basically what that does is when you're decelerating or slowing down, you can turn this switch on and it's gonna convert the exhaust gases, it's gonna shut them off and build back pressure in the engine and it's gonna create what they call braking horsepower. And it's a really nice feature when you're coming down a big long hill, you can turn this exhaust compression brake on and it's gonna help to decelerate the coach as you're coming down a long grade. Um, you can choose to use it or not use it. It's just a great feature to have on this coach. The next switch we're going to talk about is the exhaust regeneration switch. Time to time, if you do a lot of in-town driving and the engine doesn't build enough operating temperature or operating speeds, a light may flash on the dash and it may tell you that it's time to do a manual exhaust regeneration. And at that point, you would push this switch and then follow the regeneration procedures in the Freightliner operations manual. But all in all, it's very simple and easy to learn. The next switch here is for the trailer camera and truck camera. When you have it on truck cam, it's going to activate the rear video camera and you'll be able to just use that camera. It'll show up on the touch screen. In the event you ever pull a large stacker trailer or an enclosed trailer, we can also mount a camera on it and on the Verona they have a pre-wired plug-in where we connect the video camera. So if you're pulling a large trailer, you could switch the view to the trailer camera and as you're backing up the trailer, you would be able to see behind the trailer. It's just a really nice feature. This switch is your HDMI port and auxiliary MP3 player port. You can also charge your cell phone from inside of here. It has a USB connection and then also an audio in port. The next two features are pretty obvious. The bottom one is the 12 volt outlet power port and then the one above it is the cigarette lighter. Now we're gonna show you the stereo and navigation system. And there's so much to talk about on this. Here you can see the turn signals. There's side bullet cameras, so when your turn signal comes on, it shows you the left and right hand views. There's also a backup camera out the back. When you buy a coach from us, and I keep saying it over and over, we provide you with the IWS Advantage package. In that Advantage package, we're gonna do our best to walk you through step-by-step -step programming and how to get the most use out of the navigation system and the stereo and the Bluetooth audio. Now we're going to move over to the left and I'll go through these switches top to bottom and the first top button is the cruise control on, the next button down is the cruise control set, the next button down is headlights and marker lights, and then the very bottom the increase and decrease that's to increase and decrease the light inside your dash. You can change the intensity of the light on there. Now we're going to turn around and head towards the back of the coach and we're going to go through the sliding pocket door there by the refrigerator and move into the bunk bed area. As you can see we have the pocket door closed that leads into the master bedroom so you'd have some privacy from your guests that are sleeping in the bunk bed area. Here's the window treatment in each of the bunks. They have uh, day and night roller shades. Here's the day shades down. You can also crank the window open so you can get some ventilation inside of the bunk. And now we've moved it up and it's a straight window. 
There's quite a bit of headroom in the bunk and each bunk also comes with DVD players inside of them. Here's a shot of the USB charger and 110 outlet. Uh, each bunk has that so you can charge a game in there or a cell phone. Each bunk also has its own reading lamp. As you can see, there's quite a bit of room in the bunks. There's also storage drawers underneath each bunk to carry some extra clothing there for your guest. I also want to point out these are full-length drawer slides. Um, Renegade has always prided themselves on their cabinet and wood construction of their coaches and the craftsmanship. You can also remove the top bunk bed if you want and turn this into a complete closet if you'd like or a storage area. So that's a really nice to have that dual function feature. Now we're gonna walk you into the shower and bathroom of this coach. As you can see, there's a roof vent in it that has a water sensor in it. I think Renegade has done a fantastic job with this bathroom floor plan. There's lots of room to get in there and brush your teeth. There's ample room to move around inside of the, this bathroom area. Here you can see the nice curved doors of the shower has a seat in it. There's also lots of little uh, shelves in there where you can set shampoo bottles and soap. And all of these things may not seem like much, but when you're traveling and living inside your coach, it's really nice to have a lot of the features you'd find in a, in a really nice home. Here you can see the wood solid maple craftsmanship of the cabinets. This top cabinet here has double doors, which is real nice because you can put wider objects up in there and it's really easy to see. You're not trying to look behind corners. The medicine cabinet here we're gonna open up there's a full medicine cabinet behind the mirror. You can notice the LED light fixtures in there. Really uh, helps with the vanity lighting. There's also a nice light up underneath the cabinet. And here's a solid surface sink. It's a under mount molded in sink. It really makes cleaning the sink really nice and easy to do. Here's a shot of the macerator toilet. It allows you to use regular toilet paper. It, it emulsifies and grinds up the waste bite products right there. It has water saver mode. There's water in the bowl all the time and when it's time to drive down the road, you can push number one and number two button at the same time and it's gonna evacuate all the water out of the bowl so as you're driving down the road, water isn't sloshing back and forth in the bowl. Now we're gonna open up the pocket door that leads into the master bedroom and we're gonna walk you around inside here and kind of show you this space. First thing we're going to do is talk about the stacked washer and dryer, and this is the dryer on top and the washers on the bottom. You have an option when you order a Verona from us. We can just do a washer dryer prep package in there, and this space would all have shelves in it. And then down the road, if you want to add a washer and dryer, you can. Or you can order it with a washer and dryer, as we've done on this particular coach. Here we're gonna show you the lighting levels. In the bedroom, you both have um, his and hers reading lamps. There's also LED ceiling lights. If you'll notice, there's a charger and USB charger and 110 outlet on the nightstand, which is very handy to you know, put your cell phones and charge it. As you can see, there's a padded headboard and a uh, transom window over the top of the headboard to let some light in. Here's the storage underneath the bed. You'll notice right behind the storage compartment, that's where the 150 gallons of fresh water is stored so it doesn't freeze in the winter. Here we're gonna move around and show you a little bit of the entertainment system and the closets that are found at the foot of the bed. As you can see, there's large closet doors with lights inside them. When you open the closet doors, the lights come on. There's a neat feature here, and that is you can remove the, the base out of that one shelf and open it up, and then long dresses can hang in there. I think that's a really nifty idea that Renegade has come up with. You can see there's lots of storage space in here, full-length drawer slides on everything. It does have a Blu-ray and DVD player in the back. It's also ready for uh, DirecTV or Dish Network receivers. I really hope you like what you see. We're trying to do our best to really explain to you what to expect when you purchase a new Verona. Feel free to give us a call and thanks again for your time.